Good morning, sisters. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning in thanksgiving for all graces and blessings received for our families, friends, and benefactors and those recommended to our prayers for the intentions of Belinda Lim and Jonathan Lurie and for the eternal repose of the soul of Eddie Japtha, who died this morning and for comfort for his bereaved family, for the souls in purgatory, and for peace in the world. We celebrate today the feast of Saint Scholastica. Let the Virgin... Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamps to meet the Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate, let us first repent. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. <coughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin, Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. But a mist went up from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to till it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how great you are clothed in majesty and honor, wrapped in light as with a robe. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
all of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open wide your hand, they are well filled. You take away their breath, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, and they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth, and sanctify us in the truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. <clears throat> there is nothing outside a man which by going into him can defile him. But the things which come out of a man are what defile him. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into a man from outside cannot defile him, since it enters not his heart but his stomach? and so passes on. Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, what comes out of a man is what defiles a man. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, covetous, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. <clears throat> Every religion and many other institutions and structures in society have rules about eating. What you can eat, what you should eat, <laughs> what you shouldn't eat. Um, but there are moderated today, they're not usually very, very rigid rules. But in the time of Jesus, in the first century AD, um, the idea of ritual purity and ritual cleanliness and ritual holiness was very, very strong um, among the Jews, but also among many Gentiles. And so Jesus has got his teaching that we hear today was very radical and very surprising to the people. First of all, this was a religious teaching. He declared all foods clean at a stroke at a word. And of course that raises the question, who is he to suddenly change all the dietary rules, which were very elaborate from the Old Testament? All foods are clean. And it was so shocking and so amazing that 
uh, even his disciples couldn't understand it and didn't understand it, even after the explanation and careful explanation of the text by Jesus. But really what he is doing is, is echoing what we've been hearing in the first reading, that all creation is good, is beautiful, and is holy. But it wasn't just a, religious, a change in religious observance at a stroke, but it was also a profound insight into the nature of moral evil. Because before Jesus and after Jesus, many theories, endless theories, about the origin of morality, where does it come from, why are certain things right and certain things wrong? Are there things which are wrong in themselves, no matter what happens? Or are there circumstances which can allow this and that? And Jesus pinpoints the source of moral evil when he speaks about the heart. It's nothing external. The external world is the external world. It's neither moral or immoral. Morality begins within. Morality is to do with the intention that we have. Morality is to do with the heart. And so Jesus illustrates this in the long litany of sins with which humanity is very familiar. But to understand this, this fully and to take Jesus' explanation to its logical conclusion, all those sins that come from within are also balanced by the good that can come from within, evil thoughts or good thoughts, fornication, adultery, licentiousness, sins of the flesh, but also respect, reverence, purity, the taking of human life, murder, but also the giving of life and the praise of life and the protection of life, envy and slander and all that, but also can come forth gratitude and truth. And so there is this spiritual insight. So we have a religious change, we have a moral change, and we have a spiritual insight that the whole of our holiness and our journey into God has to do with the heart or the will, the intention. And we have channeled that beautifully into what we call the devotion to the sacred heart. This is not a cozy feeling, but a realization that Christianity is trying to allow Jesus to live his life in us, that he, our hearts become his heart in the world today. And that is why we pray, Sacred Heart of Jesus, make my heart like unto thine. Because if we have the heart of Jesus, if we have his will and his intention, then we can only bring forth what is good and beautiful and true. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the vine, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of your blessing, for our good and the good of all the church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, blessed Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that As her merits are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. (coughs) Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign 
forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that they should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet Christ the Lord.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of blessed Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace.